section one vocabulary. So starting with une famille. Une famille. So a double L can be pronounced either like an L or like a Y, depending on which word it's in. Uh, a slight majority of the time it's going to lean towards a Y. Um, however, there's no way to tell just by looking at the word. We just have to memorize which word is which. So une famille uses the Y sound. Remember that when talking about specific people, in this case all various family members, the gender of the word will match the actual biological gender of the person. So a mother is une mère. It's a feminine word because a mother, by definition, is a woman. And father will be un père because a father, by definition, is a guy, so therefore it will be a masculine word. A sister is une sœur. So un, because a sister, is by definition a girl. And a brother is un frère. Again, un, brother is a guy. Grandmother and grandfather are both fairly simple if you know mother, mother and father. So we had un mère and un père. So just like in English, we're going to stick the word grand in front. Only in French, we're going to put a hyphen in the middle. So, une grande mère and un grand père. And then finally, we have the words for cousin. So, a boy cousin and a girl cousin. Uh, in French, these are two separate words, unlike in English, where the word cousin doesn't tell you anything about the gender of that person. So, we're going to see this change in two places. You're going to see the article change, un, to un. And you're going to see the actual spelling of the word change. So we add an E to make words feminine. So we're going to take our boy cousin, un cousin, with a nasal sound at the end, un cousin. When we add an E onto the end of it to make it feminine, that's going to take that un sound and make it no longer nasal. Remember, an E on the end of nasal combinations makes them not nasal anymore. So we go from un cousin with two nasals to une cousine with no nasals whatsoever. Un cousin, une cousine. We're also going to go ahead and look at our pet vocabulary. Okay, so a pet itself is simply un animal domestique. So there's not an actual word for pet. We're going to call it literally a domestic animal. Un animal domestique. So our actual words for each one of these animals can take the gender of either article. So it can be un or it can be un to match whatever gender the animal is. Since the word itself doesn't actually change, the only difference between, for example, a male dog and a female dog is going to be if you use an un or an un. If you don't know, such as if you're asking somebody, do you have a dog? We're going to always default to the masculine. So whenever you look up these words, they will say that they're masculine words because that's the default. The only reason we would ever change to un to make it feminine would be if we know the particular animal that we're speaking about and we know that it's a girl. So a dog is either un or un chien. A cat is un or un chat. And a fish is un or un poisson.